Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL Series, Episode 53. This is going to be the first episode, Introduction to 3D. We're going to be using the look at function today so you can kind of see uh, the first glimpses of what we're going to be doing going ahead. So jumping over here to the index, kind of just reorganized our globals here uh, under UI, Animation, State. Uh, we're introducing this new um, state value of the I, uh, X, Y, Z coordinates. And I'll, we'll show you later what that means. Um, here's some point vertices uh, for three different triangles and their corresponding color as well, have a random one, and then we'll have one that's all red and one that's all green. Um, sitting here into our main, we're going to do our callback, shaders, GL, and then call animate. Callbacks will have key up and down. We'll just be reporting which keys are true and which ones are false. And then sitting in animation, this will be our drawing and update the state and then drawing. We'll just be doing this over and over again, even if we're not really needing to. So it's not necessarily the most efficient thing right now, but it just makes it easy for updating any kind of rotation and eye angles, etc., that we have when we're clicking things. So we're going to have two different state updates here. We're going to be updating the eye position by 0 0.01 or decreasing it by 0 0.01 whether we're pressing R for rotate or shift R for rotate. So finally, getting into our draw, this is when the magic happens. Um, so we're going to take the values of P that are passed in, otherwise the defaults from above, and we're going to be using the mat4 library as before. And we have the look at function here, which takes in four different uh, values. We have the out matrix that's provided, a vec3 for the i, a vec3 for the center, and a vec3 for the up vector. Uh, let's explain what each of those are. Obviously the out is the output matrix that you'll be getting back. Um, the i is the position of the camera or eyes while looking at the center. So if you imagine yourself, your eyes are the, well, the i function. So if you are looking at an object in front of you, the eye would be where your eyes are, and the center would be what you are looking at. So this is the focal point vector of what you're looking at. Finally, the up vector is which vector is up in said camera view. So if you would turn your head sideways, the up vac vector could now be the X plane. Uh, but generally speaking, you might want to have it just be the uh, Y plane, so up and down in a normal vertical uh, uh, type position. So now if we look at the actual variables here, we're passing in this the identity matrix. We're going to go ahead and have three different vectors, vec3s, from values. One's going to be the state of the i's, so that's what I provided above. We're going to be looking at the origin, which is 0, 0, 0, and we're going to be having the up vector be the uh, y vector as a 1. Finally, we're going to set this as the view matrix, which is new, so this is uh, Rather than the model matrix, which represents a model, this is going to be view, representing the overall camera structure. Uh, so that's the only difference in the uh, the uh, fragment or the view, uh, view shader, um, which is the fact that uh, we have a view matrix replacing the model matrix there. And finally, we're going to draw the triangles. Everything else is pretty much the same, so you can see what's going on here. So when we go ahead and refresh the screen here, we have the a random color one in the background, and then we have the green in the front, and the red slightly behind. Let me go ahead and go back up to these values. So here's the green triangle. It's at zero. Slightly behind it is the red triangle, and slightly behind that is the random color one. When we go ahead and press R, we'll rotate around, and you can see the, the 3D-ness of the fact that the green is in front of the red, and the red is also in front of the other. Go ahead and note that these triangles are getting cut off here in the back, and we'll uh, explore that a little bit later, but that's because the bounding box for what we're looking at is, is cut off, so we're not drawing anything outside the boundaries. And we'll look at that later, but uh, this is a quick and simple, easy uh, introduction to 3D and what we'll be looking at in the future. So if you like what you saw today, please subscribe. Uh, share this video on social media if you will, like this video, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.